Now on Impact, we're going to talk about how our communities look after the elderly. That's because Alzheimer's Disease International is warning that the number of older people needing care will soar over the next four decades, up by almost a third. Well, it's urging governments to come up with long-term plans to deal with the problem. Anne-Marie Tomczak is in the world's newsroom with more. And Anne-Marie, they're calling it a global epidemic, aren't they? Hi, Babiti. Yes, a global epidemic, and it is something that will affect us all, either now or in the future, so we're all affected by it. And uh, this uh, report by Alzheimer's Disease International, it says 277 million older people will need personal care by 2050, a staggering figure. Now, with me to tell me a little bit more about that study is our health reporters, Tulip Mazumdar, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about China as well, more specifically. Carol from the Chinese services here. Tulip, you've been speaking to the authors of this report. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Well, look, essentially they're saying that we're all getting older, more of us are going to be developing uh, degenerative brain conditions, but there's going to be fewer people to look after us uh, as we get older. Now, this report look at, looked at statistics from the World Health Organization uh, and from Alzheimer's disease associations around the world, and it estimated that at the minute there are around 100,000, uh, sorry, 100 million, I should say, people um, that need personal care, but by 2050, as you say, that will almost treble to 277 million. Now, by personal care, we're talking about everyday things things like help with going to the toilet, help with dressing, help with eating, so really quite work intensive stuff that you need someone around with you uh, all the time. Half of the people they say uh, need personal care have dementia, uh, which is uh, which basically symptoms of that is things like memory loss, um, you know, having big mood swings, uh, things like that that really can affect both the individual and the uh, and the family. Very very challenging to cope with. Carol, China it already has a challenge on its hands in coping with its elderly population. Yes, China's aging problem is really bad, and uh, we all know compared to the uh, developed countries, you know, China's situation is even worse, particularly with the uh, one-child policy carried out 30 years ago. So the, with the, with the uh, shrink of the size of the family, there are going to be fewer and fewer people who can look after the elderly people. And, and we all know uh, in China, there are, in 2007, I think there, there were six million uh, sufferers of dementia and today is even more and the number of diagnosed, no, diagnosed cases is still rising. So what is China doing, what is the government doing there to try and address this issue if the projections are so huge? Um, I think the Chinese government is well aware of this problem, you know, the fast aging population and is, is, is trying to do something and the government is trying to plan to roll out uh, a social, uh, uh, basic social uh, pension welfare system uh, across the country by 2015, but the government admits it's going to be a huge challenge. Tulip, I see you nodding your head there. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that this report is recommending as well. Look, governments need to actually have serious debates about this because middle, income, middle and lower income uh, countries are changing, people are migrating away from home, women are being educated so they're not staying at home to look after the elderly relatives. Um, you know, As we go into the future there are just simply going to be fewer people around so governments need to start incorporating a proper strategy and proper money, investing money into how they are going to take care of this ballooning older population. Tulip, Carol, thank you very much for being with us on World's Newsroom. That's all from us today but you can get in touch with me on Twitter at amtomchak if you're with your thoughts on the matter. Anne-Marie, thank you very much. Uh, Anne-Marie Tomczak there in the World Newsroom.